what can we do? Right, uh, black. And we'll get the ranger's legs done. If there's any paint in this pot, I don't think there's much. I'll do that. I'm not going to do black boots. I think that may be a bit. Oh, what the hell! Black boots. There. You I've missed a bit with the Dark Angel's green on the bottom of a cape. Never mind. If anything missed, we can always come back and redo. Not a problem. an awful lot in the back that I couldn't see before and rather no that's on the bit, back of the legs and there we are this looks a little bit different now um, I'm not going to put any black on the halfling I think yes I am I'll do those two straps black if he wants to cross over in front of his chest I'll do them black there we are now so we're going to do the human rangers her that's a redhead well let's get some red and the vermin brown that we used red it's looking a bit better let's get some water in there as well unfortunately the rim brown seems to be drying up. I may have to, I'm going to have to get another tub of paint but the equivalent of because I don't do that colour anymore. So. And we'll just run the red kind of dry brushing across the hair so it picks up and leaves the vermin brown colour in the dips. See some old Simons in this. <laughs> you can see a dress like this in one of a 
in an epic video. There we go. That's her nearly done. And I think what I'm going to do while I've got this mixed, I don't want to waste paint, so I'm going to go over the halfling's top with the same colour. So I've, not, I've mixed too much for her obviously, but waste not want not as I said. I'm going to have to pull out me, uh, the green again anyway, so I'm not bothered if I go on top of the green, but I'm just going to have to be careful the green the next time. I'm going to delve back into my black again just to touch up the cross um, oh dear the cross straps of uh, the halfling here because I uh, touched it with the ready brown I've just put on okay that's that done Next, we'll go with the Dark Angel Green and we'll touch back up where I've missed when I first went on it, which is there. It doesn't seem much, but if you want to paint it, you want to paint it. And the fact is, I'll know which the I'll know well, I'll know the paints, not the should I say, and I'll see it every time I look at it. Other people may not see it, but I say I'll know which the I'll know if I've done as good a job as I could have done. So it's covered up again. And I'm going to do the same with the Castellan Green on the Halfling. did say I was going to check every time I went to paint something and I've forgotten already. So that's the Castellan. Haha, uh -huh, no, I knew there was another bit I missed. It was right there. And here we go. The skin tone on the Hobbit I missed as long as it wasn't the Hobbit, it was the Ranger. Or I'd missed a bit on the Ranger. Uh, best to go flash, didn't I use her for her? And where was it now? The That would make a good highlight colour for her. Not too bad, eh? Oh, 
Okay, next we're going to be using Iron Breaker, which is a one we've not used in any of the previous videos. This is like a metal colour. It used to be bolt gun metal. And with this one we're going to be doing the blades on the sword. And I'm going to go over the... I'm doing this again, I'm sorry. Let's do the actual armour. I'm not using gold on it. And I'll use a little bit on the halfling's dagger. If there's anything else I can do with the halfling. Yes, we've nearly finished. <laughs> so we get now. Now to the highlights of the cape, we're going to start off with Goblin Green and we're just going to sweep, sweep it down. Want as little on your brush as you can and all I'm really doing is, it's like a dry brush, it's not a thorough dry brush What's that kind of technique where I don't have much on the paint on the brush, I don't have much paint on the brush, but all I'm simply doing is rubbing, is rubbing, is brushing the paint on, and like a sideways motion across, not a sideways, it's like a horizontal motion across the um, thing, so it doesn't across the model, so it doesn't go in the dark areas. There we are and I can leave most of that dark. There we are. That's her cape done. And now for the halfling. We'll highlight his cape using Elysian Green. I will do the same thing again. Um, obviously this time he's got a hood up so we'll have to go um, from the top and and go down and uh, just go down the model rather than across but where we see like vertical um, dips we can change angle of the brush slightly to go across so it doesn't go in so you're not painting the uh, crevices of the model you're painting the uh, the high the high points there we are it doesn't need much doing to it because he's picked out most of the uh, most of the high points anyway. Okay next. Um, I think what we shall do is use ice blue. I'm going to like this bit. I hope. And the ice blue what we're actually going to do with this is use it very spurringly. And this is a dry brush near enough. I've got very little on my brush and I'm just going to go up the ranger's legs so that the um, overlaps the will we'll take the paint
Vamos lá. And what I can do if I feel as though I've got a bit too much of the blue on, which I, I do, I can put some null oil on the other still later. Um so that's that done. But for the hobbits, the halfling, I'm gonna use Rhinox Hide. I'm going from Lord of the Rings on this for the halfling. And as you know, anybody who's read Lord of the Rings, the description of the Hobbit's clothing is all muted earth colours. Greens and browns. So that's what we're gonna do for our little halfling sneak. Basically a thief. I wonder where they got the uh, idea of using a halfling as a thief from. Oh yeah, the Hobbit. <laughs> there we go. Now, obviously, as you can see from here, he's actually wearing boots and the Hobbits in Lord of the Rings didn't, but... Yeah, what the hell, never mind. I'm going to do a different colour of brow for his boots. I'm going to use Dryad Burk. It's a very dark, dull, muted brown. Probably can see the difference in shade there between the Rhinox hide. I'll try and move a bit closer. Hopefully, you can get that of focus. There you go, there is a difference in shade as you can see there. Okay, it looks as though what I'm going to have to do is highlight the Hobbit's face as well. I keep saying the Hobbit, the Halfling's face. It's a Hobbit, there's a Hobbit, no, there's a Hobbit, not a Hobbit, it's a Hobbit. We're calling the Hobbit. Sorry, calling the halfling a hobbit <laughs> from my days of reading Lord of the Rings. So I keep saying Lord of the Rings, I keep mentioning Lord of the Rings, it's a big passion of mine. Love the books to pieces. I've wore out five copies since I was 15. I'm now be 45 in July. <laughs> and I still love them as the Every time I read them, I see I find something new that I've missed previously, and I just think they're awesome books. So, I'm going to have to use the old Agrax Earthshade on um, Young Master Halfling here. I don't think it's going to work because the skin tone I've used is a bit too dark. So I think it's going to be a case of having to highlight. And we're going to leave that, that sleeve, that colour, because it reminds me of the old. Um, We call thermal, like the long, long johns, thermal long johns that uh, people used to wear. Yeah. Okay, and I said I was going to go over her face again because it wasn't. the wash very terribly well. So I'll do that now. And I'll go over highlighter boots. This time with shadow grey. Which is a dark bluey grey. I 
I've got the put the paint on, taking it straight off again because I want a fairly dry brush. Now, yeah, I'm going to go over the uh, her legs with the null oil just to darken them up slightly. This won't do the trick, it's not going to darken them up to any great extent, it's just Just going to dull down the blue and tie it all in together, make it look a lot smoother. That's that done. And I think there's a couple of belts there. I think we're going to do them gold. <coughs> but just for a change, I'm not going to do them. I'm not going to paint gold on top of tin bits. I'm going to just paint them gold. I'm not going to do use gold, no, I've decided. Change my mind again, I'm going to use, uh, when I'm I can going to use dwarf it. copper, dwarf bronze, sorry. Okay, so. Just this bit, I'm going to do. because I don't want it to be really dark, I want it to be really subtle, pale colour, just though it's actually more of a material than a metal. We can get metallic, metallic little jeans and whatever nowadays. Um, that's the kind of look I want to go for with this and I'm going to do the hilt of a knife, a uh, hilt of a dagger, rather, uh, swords, rather. Um, I'm going to do them in the bronze as well, and the little wrist thingies, wrist guards. Yeah, and I think I'm going to call her done, apart from having to just go over. And uh, not yet. I've just noticed another belt which has to be painted, and I don't want to paint that in gold. Um, I think I'm going to use that dryad bark again for this. Because when I come round to highlighting the the browns on the um, the halfling, I can do. It's all in one. There you go, it's all a matter of saving time. Oops. Sorry, I've gone off again. Where are we at? So, there's the Human Ranger and the Halfling. Almost done. I just want to get the uh, Steel Legion drab out just to um, highlight some of the browns like here and a belt And they're done. All I need to do now for them is paint them black, paint the base. The edge of the base is black. And they can go stand proudly with the colleagues that I've already painted. There we are.
So there's the Human Ranger and the Halfling Sneak all done and ready for adventuring. There we go. See those, and I hope after comparing them with the original painting and all the, the original look of them, you can see why I decided to repaint. What I'll do is I will as well show you sure which one I prefer to be brutally honest with you so until then I will uh, wish you all uh, a good night so take care God bless and bye for now <laughs>